Hi and welcome to another video brought to you by plcgurus.net. Okay, so today I what I thought I would do is say hopefully save a few people a little bit of time out there and show you exactly very quickly how to download the free and I do say free RS Logix 500 MicroLogix starter kit. So this will include the RS Logix 500 software that will allow you to program the MicroLogix 1100 and 1000 series of controllers. And again, this is a free tool that Rockwell does give you to learn their PLCs. Along with that, we'll, we'll download the RS Lynx Lite package, which we all know is the companion software that allow you to configure the drivers necessary to communicate to a given controller, in our case, a MicroLogix 1100 or 1000. And then the RS Logix Emulate 500 software that will actually allow you to download and run and troubleshoot your programs just as if you had the actual PLC hardware in front of you. So again, a very, very nice software little package that they do give you here. Not easy to find, to say it gently. Rockwell has been doing a lot of work, you know, updating their website and it looks great. However, it is circular at best. If you're like me anyway, I just find myself going around in circles. But again, um, this, this video aims to, to help you get there very, very quickly. So I am gonna reference Rockwell Tech Note 63956 and let's get started, okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to that Tech Note I was referencing earlier. So I'm gonna type in my address bar Rockwell. You can see it's already pre-populating. So we're after Techno 63956. So I'm gonna hit enter. And there it is, our first hit. Where can I find RS Logic's micro starter? That's what we want. And if you haven't already done so, you are going to need to register an account with Rockwell Automation. So if you haven't already done so, please do that. It's completely free and it will give you access to anything, any of their tech notes that has an access level, everyone. Go ahead and do that and then get caught up to us here. Okay, so this kind of walks you through uh, step by step what we need to do in order to download the free software. So notice here that they are red boxing version 10, firmware version 10. And the reason they're doing that is, is because if you need to go to a higher firmware revision level, it's a paid software. It's no longer free. The highest free uh, RS Logix 500 micro edition that you can get is version 8.3 with firmware version 10. So um, not a big deal. It's just if you have the actual physical hardware that's flashed to a higher firmware, you're out of luck. You're either gonna have to flash it down to the lower firmware so you can get the free software or pay for it, unfortunately. Okay. So this kind of shows you through the steps we're gonna go through anyway. So let's just go ahead and the link we're interested in here is this guy, the Product Compatibility and Download Center. So when we get here, we wanna type in MicroLogix 1100. And you see we have a filtered selection here. We wanna select that and here we go. So we wanna select version 10 here, okay? And now it's in our basket, if you will, and you can wanna click the little download icon here. So we have several options of the different utilities and tools that we can download, but we are interested in three in particular. So I'm gonna scroll down to the product add-ons uh, section here. We're gonna select the RS Logix Emulate 500 version six. We're gonna select the MicroLogix starter without RS Lynx. English version, and then we're gonna go ahead and select the RS Lynx Classic Lite for MicroLogix. Okay, so now we see we have three items in our in our checkout basket here, so let's go ahead and click on those. All selected, okay, you can see the revision level here is in fact 8.3, and that's it, so we can just click download now. And again, it's gonna ask for us to sign in, if you haven't done so, please do uh, set up yourself an account with Rockwell. It is useful. And sign in. Okay, so you want to select their terms uh, here. Just click accept. 
And now you have two download options. Uh, Manage, which uses one of their tools to download it for you. Um, you can do that, it's up to you, but I usually prefer to use just the direct download option, so I'll just click that. And I'll just start downloading the different versions here. So I'll just click the link, and away we go. And I'll click the next link, and away we go. And now let's download the RS links. Okay, so once those are done uh, downloading, you can see they're in a self-extracting uh, .exe type file here. You'll just double click on those different EXEs. It will self extract and install the software for you. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, please do visit our website at plcgurus.net and become an active member in our community. Thank you.